Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. Welcome to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando, and I'm with Gina Magali Rodriguez. Gracias, with One Property Group in Montgomery, Texas. That's right. And, you know, Montgomery, Texas is kind of on our focus today and here on the Texas Ticket today. And, again, you can find our show regularly on Facebook.com slash TX Ticket. Yes, that's, that's right. correct. And, um, <laughs> guys, we, we'll just post all our episodes up there on a regular basis, and we hope you guys get a chance to watch it. This show today... Now, for all you amazing Conroe wonders out there, this show today, special, today. special. All right. Special, Gina. Okay, what you is know, it? Um, Tell me. There's a lot going on, and, and um, there is a lot going on in the city of Montgomery, Texas. Always. Yeah, and, yes. you know, fall's a big deal out here, and spring and summer, and, and I think everybody's just ready to get out of the house, and this winter, <laughs> this winter thing to stop, I don't think... I know, I'm a it's li- been raining like crazy. I'm a little embarrassed about Spring's performance this year. Why is that? It doesn't look like they're really trying, you know? What? Winter keeps beating it up, and we're just going to go straight to summer. We're ready. It's we got to think positive. Spring, we're come, ready. On. come on. You're not even trying. Go for it. Go for you it. You know, Spring's to muscle up. One thing they did do is they stopped the clock from turning back, so this will be our last, you know, time change. Yes, so there was some that is spring right. action. Yes. yes. My garden's going crazy. <laughs> Tomatoes, but with all this cucumbers. Rain, with all this rain, we'll all need a sickle, you oh know, to go clean, chop down our yard. We need machetes, you know. No. Get out there and clean it up. <laughs> it's 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 a little thick and muddy outside, and just about everywhere you go here in Montgomery County. But there's a lot going on this weekend. Yes. We're going to capture all that here for you today on this show. We're at the end of the show. We're going to come back and we're going to tell you about the Facebook.com slash TX Ticket Texas Punch Your Ticket moment of the show. Which that's right. Or Punch Your Texas Ticket moment of the show and 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 these are just events (laughs) that you could punch your text ticket and what we mean by that is just true texan events that just help you be a little more texan right it's all about texas you know you go swimming down the frio river you're a little more texan than most (laughs) who doesn't do that you go dancing at whitehall you go dancing at whitehall you're a little more texan than most right you buy fruit at a in, from Farmers a coffee market? can at a, oh. in, in, in Lukenbach, Texas, on the side of the road with no attendant, you're a little more Texan. That's the best. You ever saw a deer landlers from a ditch on the side <laughs> of the road somewhere okay, in West Texas? Way okay, off that's now. too okay. much. You, know, you don't have to do that, but you can certainly punch it there. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to have Shannon Reed, Montgomery, County, Montgomery, Texas Chamber of Commerce. She's yes. going to be here on the show telling us a little bit yes. about what's up and coming, especially the Montgomery Music in the Park. That's coming up. We also have. So uh, excited. We also have a local country music western artist, and I think he's a singer songwriter. Aaron Cantor on the Ooh. show today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, then we got the Punch of Texas ticket segment, of course, at the end of the show. But yes. let's get yes. this show started. Let's and do it. With Shannon coming in from the Montgomery area Woo-hoo. Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Woo-hoo. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Welcome, Shannon. I am glad you're here, Miss Reed. And Thank I you. wanted to bring in the director they told me you're in charge of everything and anything yes. going on in the city yes. of montgomery yes. well, i don't know about all that but well, next to the second to the, the mayor chamber. second to okay. the mayor is shannon Reed. okay yes there you go yes. we're having a whole lot of fun on our west side of the county absolutely all that growth it's exciting oh we yes never a yeah. dull moment i love gina's it. there yes <laughs> one property group supports miss shannon everybody that not only the organization all the businesses, the love. Right. We have a culture, it, don't it, we? It's beautiful. I love going and feeling that positive energy. Of, I know. Of togetherness and everybody lifting each other up. So yeah. thank you for it's that. It's huge. Shannon. And it starts from the top. So we appreciate <laughs> thank that. Thank you. Well, we work on that culture all the time. It's purposeful because right. we need to welcome the people that are coming or else we'll lose who we are. And we don't want to do that. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, it's and very it important. it begins with you. Thank so you. That, that's a blessing. Thank, Thank you. you. That's outstanding. And, and does the, um, how does the chamber work 
with new businesses? Do they sign up? Do you reach out to them? Do they reach out to you? Or should they? <laughs> I, I realize it might be just prudent planning to contact the local chamber when you open yeah, up a business. Yeah, of course, of but course. But if this isn't the action of the of the first action of the business that moves in, how do you... It's well, certainly um, close to the first thing you should do. You know, the, the chamber has branded itself as the trusted resource for any business, brand new or a lifetime long in Montgomery. We want to have those resources right in a timely way that's valuable that help them with real problems they're experiencing so you know as soon as you can contact the chamber we've got those digital assets online you can find them without a phone call or with a phone call and then we yeah. have ambassadors from our organization that reach out let people know the resources that we have so it's a two-way front we're reaching out and they're reaching to us Great. So. And you're you're constantly trying to light fires to stimulate business. Of course, of this course. This is the role, right? Mm. I, am I wrong? Uh, would you? I'm sure the mo- the motto is better interpreted. What what, <laughs> what is the the trusted resource? Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if we can, we can't do your business for you. But the next best thing is to be the okay. wind beneath your wings, right? So we bring those resources um. in a timely way and that bring mm-hmm. value to the members. One of the things that I think sets Montgomery Area Chamber uniquely apart is that we're always thinking about what the businesses need from their own perspective. Mm. So we're not a, a self Um, fulfilling organization where we're just walking around trying to get members for our own glory or our own benefit. Really, it's about the business and the buck stops there. So what is it our businesses need and then how can we fill that? So we spend a lot of time with our board, with our strategic planning, looking from the perspective of the business owner rather than ourselves. And that has made all the difference. And and what is your designation with the state of Texas? So is there it's a, like we're a five hundred one three C? What is five hundred one C six? So C6. it is a membership based organization. So not a charitable contribution so, kind so of organization. Are you self sustaining? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we're a corporation. Mm-hmm. You, I understand. I, I don't understand the dynamic between you know uh, that we're not a government agency. I so see. we're not a branch of the city of Montgomery. We are a standalone nonprofit or yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. that that is very cool, and and I, I think, I think a lot of times when we call on people to come to the show, they don't realize no one here, you know, we're it's a nonprofit. We don't get paid. Right. You know, right. we're we're here to benefit the businesses in the city of Conroe. Sure. Sure. And 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 the local area, and and that benefits the people of Conroe and the mm-hmm. Conroe surrounding area, which goes almost all the way to Walden. Mm-hmm. And it, well, right. it does go all the way to Walden. And mm-hmm. and includes April Sound and so much more of our area. And uh, I, I think these are all, uh, I guess, pieces people don't understand. I, I, I think when folks, you know, get a call from the chamber, they don't realize that we're here to help. You know, right. our nonprofit, you know, I, I solicit them, certainly, to come on the program, mm-hmm. you know. And I have you right. as well. Yeah. But one thing we're not doing is putting our hand out. You know, I mean, you don't see that from a nonprofit. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we would do love your donation. And when do I stop? Never. You know, <laughs> donate do more, more, more. Right. You know, just like CCR said, you know. And, you know, when do they say stop? Never. You know, Never. I mean, we... But we eat every day. We consume constantly, but yet we expect a single donation on a whim to, to satisfy. Well, you know, well, I'll feed you once, and I hope it satisfies you the rest of your <laughs> life. You know, th- these conditions do not apply, right? Uh, a nonprofit has this way, just like a consuming meal. And I, I think that the city, when they understand that the fuel is you, your, your time here today, Shannon, and thank you. And, yeah, and sure. you make a donation by being present, and and I appreciate that. And so do you, Gina. Yeah, and, and 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 those so are your contributions here. to the program, and 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 as is mine. And and so what? One of the things that's near and dear to my heart is that you know I'm, I'm class of ninety, Montgomery High School, uh, and and you're in you're in my hometown, and and <laughs> one I pay attention to for I guess obvious reasons. You know, it's mm-hmm. my, you know my friends, I. I, I see they're wearing colors. They're all either substituting or teaching or living in town that are still here and part of our programming and just part of our lives. And, and as I introduce them to my children, it ends up being a discussion of like, I went to high school with her <laughs> yeah. and yes, her husband yes, and her husband. 
and she's wearing school colors right now. What? Did you yes. just leave the school? They're like, well, yeah, I, I tutor on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm like, really? So right. it, it, it is that close. It, Isn't it, it so it, fun to see people coming back? It is. It I is. love and it. When I went to school, then exactly. they told me nobody ever leaves. Everybody that leaves comes back. Oh, and, and it's nice. It's, it's true. true. It's that hometown feel that people want to always relate. And I believe it. Come back to that hometown and we wanna, feel. And we want to treasure that. Right. Because as folks are moving here who didn't grow up in Montgomery, mm. Mm-hmm. For us to be able to say, this is how we do it in Montgomery. This is the mm-hmm. culture. Right. We we draw that line and say, this, if you want to be a part of this, that's wonderful. And we want you. Mm-hmm. But we want you to be a part of this. Exactly. <laughs> I do I like love that. the Historical Preservation Group. Who does that? Who, who, who the Historic to? Society. We, and the, there's yeah. one there in Montgomery? Yes. Are they mm-hmm. members? Yeah. Oh, yes. And they're very Good. active Good. in the community and work hard alongside our organization and others in the community and the and the city government there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's right. And, yeah, and awesome. you know, we've we've had um, a Byron on, and we've 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 oh, mixed good. with a few other of the mayors of the past and the sure. and, you know years gone by. Um, and one of the things we're we're looking forward to is the uh, I think it's the Freedom Fest July. Uh, you have uh, a, first Saturday in July. That's right. Yeah. Yes, it was about 2013 when we decided. You know, as patriotic as we are, we need to host something <laughs> in the community. <laughs> that Definitely. That we wow, can 10 just. Years ago. I know that we can wave all our red, white, and blue beyond and then some. So we made that very approachable for cool. all kinds of people. It's free to be in it. Mm. Just jump in with your kiddos. Mm. There is the parade is specifically no trailers and we did that by design you know okay. at christmas time those big trailers and the giant floats are quite intimidating and you feel like it takes a lot of investment and a lot of time right. big organizations oh, yes. it's just more than a small family getting into the parade so by making it no trailers it mm. we've seen the sweet little kids come out and their tricycles <laughs> and we have somebody in like a, a pod racer from star wars have you seen that one and come around I and the it. art I cars. Saw it. It's yes, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. sweet. And we have the po- uh, the um, art cars that come up from Houston area yes, and love being in our parade. Really cool. So fun. But just seeing families or or the scouts or you know a fun group of friends getting on some golf carts and coming through the parade is with all decked out red white and blue it's fabulous stars I love and stripes true. forever i love the true i love Aww. the real yes and go, i'm sorry with yes. stars and stripes stars and stripes forever is our theme this year stars and stripes forever yeah okay. yeah okay yeah. Oh, that's it's gonna free. be a lot of fun. Yes, yes it definitely. is. It is fabulous. Okay. So and now yeah. this yeah. isn't the gem in the crown. There is something else coming that's even I know we're thrilled than about it. <laughs> the Independence Freedom Fest. Oh well Go for hands it. laterally, it's laterally. Oh different gosh. time. You can't be better than freedom. You know, we could be <laughs> alternately later in the but year. But there's wine. As so, there's still... so you know, wine might trump freedom some days. Yeah. No, yeah. wine yeah. is freedom. <laughs> It has wine involved, no. <laughs> All kinds of it's freedoms, great. you know, maybe more than we should be <laughs> indulging in, but nevertheless, freedoms, there you, you know, go. and, and there you go. Uh, right. this will be uh, the Montgomery Music in the Park. park. I'm thrilled tell about us, this. Tell us, tell us about well, it. Well, you know, we've been historically hosting Wine Fest. Yes. Montgomery Wine and Music Fest in the downtown streets. Love that. Uh, for you. 16 years, we did that phenomenal year over wow. year improving customer experience and doing all of the things and bringing people inviting them into our little piece of heaven mm. for a day we'd bring in wineries mm. from across the state of texas we had up to three stages of music at one point we've had kojo on our stage before cody oh, johnson we've had wow. flatland cavalry on our stage you know we, we like to say claim that so we're the launch pad for some of these amazing stars yeah i bet yes <laughs> texas yes, music yes. stars we've had a phenomenal run and we took a break last year because i'll just be honest meeting customer expectation and always improving and always bringing a better experience which is our desire while also right. cherishing and protecting our historic district in town yes. logistically became so challenging for what we had a vision for and what we wanted to bring to the community. Wow. We had to press pause and retool. And what we have brought back is the best of the best. I'm awesome. I'm thrilled with the new version, and I think everyone is going to be 
overwhelmed by what we're going to present. It's far bigger than just your chamber throwing a, an event in the backyard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. it's bigger that. than that. I see wow. that. Yeah, and yes. you were using a far bigger venue than Ooh, in the past. Tell me. <laughs> now, with Conroe at your back, mm-hmm. going down 105 West, you'll take a right at Four Corners, going 249, right? 149 149. north into the forest. So it's 2.5 miles north of 105. So once you get outside of town, that's about a mile's worth of drive. And then it's one more mile up into the forest. And right up at the north of town is West Montgomery County Park. And that's where everybody plays Little League and the ball fields are there. Yes, my kids played there. And the the, the little football kids come there at the beginning of the season, which I think they just did that a couple of months ago. Yeah. I don't know what time North County the, Football League, I think. Yeah, and they, mm-hmm. they the cheerleaders get yes. warmed up there, the little, little ones. <laughs> yeah, and 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 the uh, all the football kids, and the, the you know those those leagues. But they, what you probably didn't notice on your drive to the ballpark is the manicured to perfection sixteen acre plot of land out front of those ball fields, mm-hmm. and that's where we're setting up. This oh, wow. immaculate festival. Oh in, my God! In I'm the beautiful so trees excited. on well, that and cascading you hill. Of stuff happening. A can whole tell lot. Us, tell me what you can tell us. I, mean, I know you were holding back a few things. We've yeah. got some. We've got some <laughs> surprises still coming. So yeah. I'm excited about that. Okay. Yes. So first of all, we reimagined the layout of the festival to guide people. It's almost like a Disney experience or Epcot Center. So we have a courtyard in the center that will be sponsored by Gullo Ford Mm. Auto Group. And so then from there, you'll be able to branch out down different alleyways of vendors with different themes in mind. Mm. We're going to have boutique trailers that will have... Just a a branch out where you can have a whole shopping experience. We've got beer stationed throughout a huge wine slushy tent. We'll have two flavors Mm. this year to cool you off for the summer. Yes. And then we'll have an entire wine garden. And instead of bringing in the 16 wineries, we are going to scout out the best of the best and we'll have flights served. So you can pick a dry flight. (laughs) A red, a white, a sweet, a mixed. We're going to have those pre-prepared for your parties. And instead of standing and walking along a hot line, a row of of wineries, you'll be able to take that back to your shaded table with your family, enjoy with your friends, and just have a leisure day to experience it. The nice thing okay. about this setup with the flights is now we can mimic the same idea with beer, and we were never really <laughs> able to do that in the old wine fest. Love the idea. Right. I like where your head's at. So right. now we've got beer flights oh. for the beer drinker of the wow. family. And, and Shannon, it, it, will there be vendors and sponsors outside the chamber welcome? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. And how would, could a vendor or a sponsor get in touch with you about supporting this event mm-hmm. in October? We've or already September, got it. September. Yes, September. We've already got it spelled out on our website. And that's the first place I would direct okay. anyone. You want to see what the event is about. And we have a sponsor page dedicated to list out who we wow. already have and what's available. And that is moco, M-O-C-O, musicinthepark.com. Moco, musicinthepark.com. Wow. Yeah. September 16. Okay, that's right. From 2 p.m. to 10. Thank you. She's saying that for me. Independence Day for Mexico. She's speaking to me. And it's the 6th of September, you know. Is it really? Is that Mexican Independence Day? It's just a staple in my head. Is it really? That's so exciting that you'll be able to You can celebrate with us. Count on us. <laughs> OPG will be there. One property group. Well, that fantastic. will be so yes. much fun. Yes. But you know, everything we do in Montgomery is family friendly and dog friendly for that matter. And so right. both will be welcome at the event. And we have an entire mm-hmm. children's area that will be stacked to the gills with great nice. rides and fun for them to experience. What does and it cost? It is $20 to get in for tickets. That's 13 and up. And then from 4 to 12, ages 4 to 12, it's $10. Okay. And then you have that all-access pass to the entire event. 
And then we will have um, additional with the the slushies, the wine garden, the beer mm. garden. You can buy all of those uh, oh, package packages and drinks and flights all at those Sounds various like a great stations. event. Yeah, Jen, I'm really excited. A big it's food truck, right? right? Yes, <laughs> it's be great. Yeah, good. It good. is. It's going to be fun. So families will be able to kind of camp out for the day because they'll be able to bring in a lawn chair if they like. From what time um, to what time? 2 p.m. is when we're going to open up, and okay. we'll go till 10 with our That's final awesome. concert. Yeah. Afternoon. And when she says concert, she's holding out. I, mean, I am. I, I'm she, holding out she a little. She has asked me not to put this out there, but I think what we did is we, we made this amazing cake. We just didn't put the icing on it just yet. So, yeah. yeah. Give it time. And, and you so wait. it just looks it's like September. a regular cake. Um, Mandito, it's September, so but you have to But there, there yes. is some amazing musicians that you guys, I'm not going to yeah. let the cat out of the bag, yeah. but there are some amazing headliners at this event i'm telling you yes in the park <laughs> yes and you know not to be confused that it is only a music festival because we have so many features you can experience something down every avenue as you go around the festival that's There's a something festival to do. if not it would just I be a concert it. Right. i mean would you agree to that right, if it was sure. just a live music performance it would exactly. be a concert but let me tell you how best to enjoy the event. So there's going to be plenty of elbow room all around, but we have designated a VIP area nice. that you will be waited on hand and foot. You'll have a reserved table, so you'll always have a spot to Thank sit. Thank you, Shannon. We appreciate that here at Texas <laughs> Ticket. I, we really do. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's already Can we bring yeah. Dick with us? You have not been invited, sir. You she need to just be way... did. Why you no, know? she's talking about you it. You are not sitting at our table. You're, no. But this is the way to go. <laughs> if you want to be able to have a place that's a little more exclusive, Very we're going nice. to have fancy potties in the VIP oh. area. Air conditioned. Indoor. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> at a festival, it's a thing. It's oh. a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is so awesome. Yes. That's so we're thrilled. It's a totally different twist, Shannon, because I've been to – so many events in the past mm -hmm. being here in montgomery for like 12 years mm -hmm. i've seen the growth and i'm yes. just so excited to see a newness yes we all love the newness mm -hmm. the variety you know, if we we're playing yahtzee i think i would call you out on newness <laughs> you know i just want to say that you know I I, 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 i'm gonna call it i'm gonna go ahead and call it if it's a newness. word or not it's the newness i think we all know what montgomery you mean County. yeah i love it but also Lone Star Street Dance. Tell me a little bit about that. Are you affiliated with that? Do you do well, that? I'm, do you manage this thing? You I'm and not, Stephanie Fox? No, I'm not involved in the street dance, but I hear wonderful things. And do it you is, dance, Stephanie? <laughs> do I dance? Yeah. Yes. yes. But I, <laughs> yeah. what I love about what they've done with the street dance is bring that hometown, just a sweetness Ooh. that... It's almost oh, hallmark. It's almost hallmarky, you know, that we can all just come together and have a great night together, and school, it Stephanie. can be a little unscripted, and it doesn't right. have to be so heavily planned that people can just come together. I think we've lost a sense of that a little mm. bit. I try to de-cosmetic myself <laughs> in order to be more <laughs> symbolic of just what you're stating okay. right now. You know, I want to okay. be more of the natural feel. <laughs> oh, he's country as hell. He's totally yeah, he's doing that on really? purpose. Really? You know, he's trying to look more hometown. You know, does any people do that? Do they go for the hometown look Urban more cowboy? so? Urban Is that yeah, what that yeah. is? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Is it, we are... But yeah. but isn't the street dance so authentically Montgomery though? It is. So it is. that's what's sweet about it. That is something you won't stop talking about. Mm -hmm. I know you'll well, talk Bill about Clevenger, it. Bill Clevenger, who's from Philadelphia, or where is he from? Mm -hmm. Northeast somewhere. If he Not starts sure, dancing, yeah. I'm, See, I'm here dancing. We go. Here I'm we dancing. Go. You know, you get Philly uh, out there. Or, okay. You know, I'm dancing. <laughs> You know, and I, and I think that's what we're talking about when you bring that Texas, that hometown feel mm. to people who don't already have it. I mean, if you're born here, I mean, it's all you wish for is the city lights. Right, you right. know what I mean? If, mm. But if you came from the city lights, all you want is that hometown feel. You know, and that's perspective. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope we bring it to folks like Mr. Clevenger and a few others and people in the community that, oh, sure. that came from other places, you know, that, that want to see that hometown feel that we yeah. we boast and, and mm -hmm. that we have naturally. I yes. mean, it grows on the vine out here, it you does. know. It and, does. And, and, and it's, right. it's, it's, a pleasant, it's pleasant to share it. And, and I'd mm. love to see them getting into it like that. Yeah, we act like they're, they're complete strangers. <laughs> I mean, they're not, you know. But still, I think that it's hometown fun. feel is not commonplace for a lot of people who 
like to accept it as so and, and welcome it in their lives and welcome it in what they do. Yes. And we hope they welcome it in September at oh, yes. the uh, music festival. And well, like and the what, Blue Bonnet Wine Trail. Go Texan. Are, are we working with these things. folks right. a bit? And, right. and some of those chosen When we work with the... Like yes, absolutely. And we have long-lasting relationships with them over the sure. 16 years that they've been coming and participating in Wine Fest. So yeah. we definitely mm. have built it's fabulous relationships yeah, it's hard now to hit a winery in Texas that's not part of the Blue Bonnet Trail. I mean, oh. you could randomly close your eyes and just, <laughs> oh. oh, yep, go Texan. Okay, great, perfect, even better. Mm, I, yeah. I, I, and, and that's a good thing. It, mm-hmm. That affiliation helps you discern from, you know, the wines that you choose to select. And mm-hmm. is there a committee? Can I get on yeah. this wine mm. tasting committee? I mean, mm. I'm very uh. good at it. <laughs> Armando, uh, calm down. Yeah. The Conroe wants to be in everything. We want it to be a, it to be a surprise. It, it is so. a surprise. Some, Some things you have just to have as a surprise. It. And not only that, it's just this like is volunteer. a new flavor of yes. 2023. And I'm so a volunteer, by the way. I wish you much success Thank with this you. event. I will be there. Well, you know. We you, will be there. You mentioned something a minute ago that kind of resonates with me. There is an element that... While we love our history, there is something about a new thing that feels fresh. And right. over the years, we've tried to improve every year with Wine Fest, and I think we did that all the while. But there's something to be said for new and fresh, and mm-hmm. I think this is going to be that. Oh. And I look forward to, I mean, even a fresh color palette and a fresh logo and design. Always is needed. But right. being able to really highlight our sponsors in a way we haven't done before, this event is being title sponsored by Optimum, and they have been fabulous the partners. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They've um, they're taking care That's of us great. on on uh, Wi-Fi to get up to the park. You know, really? obviously we're remote no, up no, there. No, no, Always. Yeah, well, but you'd be surprised. We're gonna we're gonna blow your socks off with that. Even uh, so, mm. a oh lot of a gosh. lot of great partnerships have gone into this, and my team of. Uh, my planning team is 20 people strong. That's how much oh, we're invested awesome. in making this an That's outstanding great. event. That is right. Well, you know you yeah. have our support here at the Texas Thank Ticket you. as well as Golden yes. Connor, our medium. And I know OPG was, is, is yes. excited about OPG's it. OPG's always excited. As well Definitely. as supporting Monica. and sharing going forward. Shannon, what else can the Con- would you like to share with, with Conroe about the Montgomery Chamber? Well, we we enjoy the partnerships that we have across the lake. And you know as well as I do, as this community grows as a whole, the lines between the two communities are blurred and we need to partner well together. And I think we I do agree. that. I think we do that beautifully. Yeah. I love partnerships that we have both with Conroe's Chamber and, you know, all around the county. And doing things that are impactful for our business community. There are six chambers across Montgomery County. Yeah. And, you know, we're paying attention to our state legislators in session right now. We are going to Austin, and we're right. fighting on behalf of what our businesses need. And we make those phone calls. Just yesterday, I called all my reps and all my senators talking about bills that they are in the process of considering That's and great. explaining to them how it impacts our local businesses. Because if we don't tell them, who will? Yeah, they're so thinking on their own agenda. So and their own right. perspective, really, yes, not necessarily. Agenda right. is a bad word. Perspective. Right. Right. It, 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 right. You know, each of different faith, each different walk, different places, different, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's wonderful. You do that and have the foresight. Mm-hmm. It's prudent planning, yes. you know, certainly. And, and I, I think that's a, a strong move and uh, as well as one that I think people in the Ch- Montgomery Chamber can be proud that you're taking. Thank um, you. Right. I, how can we, uh, would you welcome outside folks to join the Montgomery Chamber. Oh, absolutely. Okay. We're, our doors are open. And even sponsorships for Music in the Park. If you feel like this is a great place to get your business recognized in front of our audience. Vendor or sponsor? All the above. All right. We welcome awesome. all of it. Right. Yep. Are you still open taking doors. in musicians, headliners, music? Should our bands music contact is set. you? Our music is music set. Music is set. All yes. Right. We have one stage. On a quiet did you see how did, I, did you see did how you I stuck little, it in there? Did, did you see it? Like trying to get in quit, there. Which, why are you going to give away all my little plugs? You know, but I down. can come back. She's not telling us everything. And I can, we can talk all about the music <laughs> yeah. on another, on another show. Uh, I yes, I, I agree. I, I agree. It's 
It's awesome. She just let me sneak it's it like, in there. Ooh, what's I'm just gonna <laughs> sneak it in there. <laughs> Shannon, thank you for coming. And I, I would thank suggest you. that every, everyone that's interested in working with the folks in the Montgomery area, in the Montgomery, Texas right. area, the home of the birthplace of the Texas flag. Amen. We've got the Renaissance yes. Festival coming right down the street. We have the it's Montgomery Fall it. Fest, the street dance, then um, so, so many things that are right. happening in the Montgomery and surrounding area. Uh, a membership would be advantageous. I, I agree. agree. Yes. Please contact <laughs> Shannon Reed. We'll, we'll leave her information below Thank to you, how to Shannon. join the Montgomery Thank Area you. Chamber of Commerce. We'll be right back after this, folks. Lone Star Radio on my mind. So won't you kick your feet up if you have a man? Every Friday, tune into Texas Ticket on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM with Armando Nino of Go Lake Conroe focusing on Montgomery County area events and places. Get a feel of the Texas spirit at the event, paired with guest and vendor interviews, event coverage, and ticket giveaways, and so much more. Join us Fridays and punch your Texas ticket. For more information on the show, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Texas Ticket. Radio. Welcome back to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando Magina Magali Rodriguez. Bravo, with One Property Group. Thank you so much. You gave me the long intro. The I know, that was intro. just like a slur. No, it was my boxing intro. It's a, I drag it out intentionally. I'm drag it all the I'm way not to boxing. Galveston. I'm dragging it all the way to Galveston June 3rd to go oh. see the champions of the area fight. We've got oh several. Oh, my gosh. El, uh, uh, I don't know if Pequeno's going to fight, but I know Hurricane's going out there, and Alfonso's going out there. A lot of the local boys from wow. San Francisco State Golden Gloves, Texas State champions are going to be out there. We've got some of the folks yes. from um, here in Conroe represented out at uh, on June 3rd at the Seawall at the Galveston Convention Center located right. right there. June 3rd, you can get your tickets at L. TigrePromotions.com. Go check those guys out. Ow. Good friends of ours. Excited about the fight. Excited awesome. about what's coming up. Um, I'm also excited about having Aaron Cantor here with us. Aaron, welcome to the show. Hola. Buddy. Hey. Hello, Aaron, you hello. are the show. Hi, <laughs> let's bring it on. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, man, Aaron, I, I, am, I, I have been running into you here and there and everywhere I run about this town and I run about it. Uh, 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 I'm, I've been seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> I run a lot. You ain't lying, buddy. You know, I do some field trips from time to time. But um, I, we've run into each other at Worcesters. We've run into each other at the uh, Montgomery County Fair and Rodeo. We, yes. we run into each other at uh, Papa's uh, for uh, the, the Jesse Robb Jr. concert. We're, yes. we're looking forward to seeing you again coming up here at the Conroe Lake House on Lake Conroe. Uh, and you have are going to be out there. Uh, this weekend. <laughs> Front tonight, yes. tonight, right? Yes. Lake right. House yes. tonight. Yes. Okay, okay. You got I'm it. sorry. There's a lot of dates here yes. and a lot of stuff. Friday, and also Sunday. tomorrow, if you don't catch him tonight, you can Correct. catch him tomorrow at the Breakwater Grill from seven to ten ish, six six to nine. Yep. Out in Walden, Walden. Right. another beautiful place. So this well, well, this area has no shortage of just great places to hang out. So it does. and uh, this weekend, Absolutely. I got I got a full book of them. And, and Cypress, a little further out, for some of our, our audience over there, I know my brother is there, so we would go ahead and call him our audience over there. Okay, on Because my Sunday. brother lives in Cypress, so <laughs> I know he's watching the show. So for my audience in Cypress, which I know we have one. El brother. One. <laughs> yep. El, El brother. El brother. <laughs> yeah, he's over there. Anyway, he'll, they'll be at the Mesquite Grill there in Cypress Sunday, 1 to right. 5. You can catch him over there at the Mesquite mm-hmm. Grill. But um, Aaron, Aaron, you... Man of many many hats, right? And at times, yes. You're doing some roofing, uh, at custom work as well, not just roofing, right? Well, it's uh, you Church. know roofing and exteriors, full service, commercial, residential roofing and exteriors. And this is your baby, right? This yes, this so is you. Cool. Yeah, I um, awesome. I I owned a pretty successful company uh, that had offices throughout Nebraska and Colorado. Okay, but that was. Kind of in a different lifetime because I went full time into music. And you had and, a long beard then. Uh, well, that was only a phase as well. That was like a two year <laughs> phase. See. Important to Th- know. That's though. pretty much in the music phase. But yeah, I was touring as a musician for the past several years and uh, landed in Texas. You know, Jesse Rob Jr. Welcome has a Jesse Rob Jr. has a pre pre beard post beard sort of mantra about its whole operation. Sure. Yeah. I'm like, so Jesse, what about this song? Oh, that was pre beard. And I'm like, 
<laughs> Slow that down one more time. And he said, <laughs> pre-beard, before I, you know, that's what we yeah. call it here in our office. And I'm the like, beard. oh. How did you even come up with that? I did it. beard Jesse Rob Jr. did. Oh, okay, okay. He All did. Right. I, I interviewed the man, and that's what he told me. And I, I'm like, seriously? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, if I gave you a 20, you're still going to put on some Conway, get things going my way. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, well, heck yeah, we're going to do that. He said, absolutely. And and I'm like, well, good. I'm glad we're keeping true to those traditions and, and things that made put Jesse Rob in my playbook, you sure. know what I mean, and 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 he, and he stays artist. there. It, awesome, and you know we've been enjoying some of your programs and and watching you play. And I just wanted to go ahead and just start real quick with a little something, something. You know, a little uh, something on the guitar. Tune, well, you tune. ain't gonna put a roof on this place. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Show us what you got. Show him a little something. So we need to brand him the singing roofer here in Conroe, Texas. The singing roofer. That would be That's following right. me from Colorado and Nebraska. I love so, it. Uh, it's yeah. a thing. Love it. That's the a thing. Singing roofer. Here oh, you go. So. Like the fiddler on the roof. The 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 singing roofer. That's right. It's a, that fiddler on the roof went around for for. A yes. millennial still exists, definitely. Is that? Yes. The fiddler on the roof. <laughs> I need to take up a different instrument, maybe, and then that would that would be a little catchier, a little more. But you know, you're a lot more country if you got a fiddle in the yeah. band. All right, so tell us, what are you gonna play for us? So uh, I was figuring I'd start off with a song I released a few years back called "Vicariously," and mm -hmm. uh, I am still excited about this song, but I'm also excited about the stuff coming up. But uh, I have this was the first okay. release after kind of rebranding. Um, it was, I'll tell you a little bit about the songwriting process of this, you know, because okay. it comes off as a little, uh, it's like snarky, like a tongue-in-cheek humor. Um, <laughs> I was sitting at a coffee house one day, and I was just trying to write something, and I was kind of bummed out because, I'm, you know, I sacrificed a lot over the years to be in the music industry, you know, and lost relationships and stuff over that, and just tons of sacrifices, and... You know, like I'm watching one after another, these moms with their kids going up and getting their oh, lattes or whatever. And yeah. I'm thinking, man, <laughs> I'm missing out on that on that life, you know. And then I thought about it. I was like, wait a second. All of my buddies are jealous of me. And so I right when I had <laughs> and I had already I had already had the intro line written down, something about uh, women and diamond rings. And then um, as soon as I got that twist on it. I figured out what the hook was and it's, it, it, you know, it ended up being a lot of fun. This is a fun song. Cool. You can find it on uh, Spotify oh, and Vicariously. Apple Music, YouTube, all the uh, streaming platforms. This right. one's called Vicariously. Here we go. All these women walking around with big old diamond rings. They got me wondering if I'll ever taste all the finer things. Like an SUV and a wife huh. A day job, not this nightlife But until then I'm living for whatever tonight's gonna bring Speaking of Texas ticket I'll bet that tide knot ain't all it's cracked up to be And there's a lot of married men out there wishing they were me but for all of those that do, fellas, I've got a deal for you. And we can live our lives through each other vicariously. So when you wake up and drive to your nine five, I'll sleep in and maybe, maybe make a tea time. And as you spend your day slaving away, and just remember our deal, it's all about the give and take. So I'ma take my boat to the lake, and when you're lying in bed with a book in your hand and a cup of chamomile tea, I'll drink a beer for you and kiss your wife goodnight for me. <laughs> So that's a little snippet of vicariously. <laughs> that's great. 
I oh. love it. Oh I love it. It so turned good. out so good in the studio. I recorded up in Rosewood, oh, wow. uh, at, in Tyler, Texas, at Rosewood Studios, and I still have a handful more from that same session to release. And I just cannot really? wait to start oh, dropping wow. them. That's so great. cool. Yeah, and you know, it's it's funny. It was a little uh, foreshadowed there because. At the time, I wasn't living in a community with a golf course or on a lake at all, and I wrote that song about a, uh, you know, just what I'd prefer to be doing. Right. You know, it kind of, and now, now it's one of those things where moving to the, this area made that a, re- a reality. Yeah. So that is so cool. Yeah, Loved thank it. you, Gina. Great, great words. Great in a words. neighborhood full of golf <laughs> courses and lake and all the things that are in yes. that song. Uh, <laughs> well, man, that's awesome. Um, so. Um, Breakwater Grill has is is in my backyard, right, yes. right there in Walden, yes. down down the way, and I and I wanted to pull that one out because definitely I'll most likely be stalking you once we yeah. get there. I'd like to give them a shout out for sure because mm-hmm. uh, I I know you know Hoffy over there. Yeah, and, he's um, been a co-host on the show man. for a, over a year. Was yeah. a great, a good, and it's still a good friend there. He they, is out at Breakwater and doing some amazing things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've really taken me in this year, and I've gotten to play a lot Did of they? events cool. for them at the. Yacht Club in Walden and the Breakwater That's Grill. Um, That's awesome. And just like my neighborhood, April Sound, last year they took me in, and that was just mm. – that's kind of what got this whole ball rolling around here and the, the yeah. amount of support. And I just – it's snowballed, and I can't believe – I'm just blessed to be in this area because like I would mentioned yeah. to you before the show, I really wasn't sure if there was a music scene in this area. I just loved the house I found and yes. the neighborhood, <sighs> and I just went for it. So, mm, Well, yeah, there's a music say, scene. Somebody so was cool. talking about how Willie Nelson used to sell records down <laughs> here in the square. You know, Elvis used to go to the Gentry right. store. To, he, he'd get a haircut right over here at, on Simonton. He'd go to the Gentry store to get a new shirt, and he'd go to the pub where Red Brick, if it, it was a pub there. It was a, a store, and I think it sold beer. And he'd go there and this have place a beer. Goes way back. So we had a, a where has haircut. Willie been? You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Willie's ninety. I, I, I yeah. you know, Willie, and he's about to start a tour. You know, I think one of the great things about music is, I mean, you can't probably, you could probably own a roofing company for life, but you probably can't roof for life. You know, <laughs> right. I, I, you know. <laughs> You gotta have good knees to get up That's those why ladders. I play golf as well, because I want something with some longevity. You know, uh, you could do, well. Yes. You could you could be a musician for life. Yes, uh, you uh, can. And Willie's proven that, and so many other artists have done yes. that. That's yes. that's the one beauty of your of your your backup, your minor, you know, or your major, whatever you would refer to it as. I, I don't want to take from one to the other. No, they, but they both operate uh, independently of each other and uh, kind of support each other as well. In Texas, mm-hmm. you're to me, you're you're a musician. Awesome. So just okay. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. <laughs> it's like what very, else does very he do? Love, you know? it. Love it so much. <laughs> uh, family, kids, and, 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 and any any of that? No, I'm still uh, not yet. You're single. Yes, and I, that was um, the that song was written from you know that perspective, but that was written five, <laughs> six, seven years ago now, and it's I, oh. I mean I I'm just so busy, you know. It really is like, but now that I've purchase the house here and really settling down in this area, you know, that opens up the opportunities. It's just, I, I was touring yeah, and, you know, then you just, you know, life is about uh, just going with the ups and downs and the phases sure. and yeah, that kind of stuff. And so I'm yes. entering a different phase now of just making this my home and uh, putting roots down. And but getting you're still business. traveling for work and, and doing those things. I, I mean, do, but I, I, I mean, I travel equally for music and for construction now. So, I see. Yes. Gotcha. Um, and uh, if you were to say on a calendar going forward, the ideal music workload, how many gigs a year do you think you would say would be the ideal mm. music work? Not what we're doing, what we plan to do, that's, but what would be ideal? Well, that's a very tricky question because sure. I know the roofing company is going to, um, it, just from past experience, I'm going to be very busy with that. And hopefully so. I, yeah. I mean, I know this and is awesome. a blessing yes. too. You know, I know yeah. it helps you, and, and, and I hope so. Yeah, and so I, it'll give me the opportunity to back off of the gigs and just perform a little bit more of the um, – the high profile ones. Right, and exclusivity. Yes. Right. Yeah, because I've I'm not so more the rock and roll bar mitzvahs. You know, you every know, weekend you, I'm so you, busy with music right now and I'm just weddings. Yeah. yeah. Well I've, it's been great. <laughs> weddings can be it depends who's wedding. You know? You know, you get a little <laughs> little bougie about oh your selections. <laughs> you know. And and Funny. you know, uh, and and Walden is the host to a, a lot of great, great musical talent. And right. and it's just so 
I don't know. People think it's private. For the longest time out here, and mm-hmm. I know this might even predate you, Gina, that this Walden was a private club. So was April Sound. And then Walden wasn't, and April Sound was and still is. Mm-hmm. But right. people just automatically assume since you couldn't get into April Sound and at the rumor was you couldn't get into Walden. And Bentwater was also, of course, born this way. So yes. you, you would just assume I can't get in any of these places, which isn't the case. And so, I mean, April Sound has events that are public open at times, and a Walden mm-hmm. is a public open venue. So you always have these opportunities to patron these places. And, and well, some, not always, but, you know, it, it just... I, I think people need to take the time to look into Walden a little bit more and see what it brings. I mean, in, in so much that they so can go, different. you know, and I'm always shocked. You know, we always talk about how the Galvez and Galveston has the best Sunday brunch in the state of Texas. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. I, I, I would have to argue with that. You I've have never not been, been to Galveston? There, but I have been to uh, the Yacht Club's Sunday uh, brunch. Okay, it's extremely okay. good. And, and we hold this as a, a close runner up second. And, and, and Galvez is like tenfold. In, in an overnight establishment far, with yes. and a historical marker to the mm-hmm. city of Galveston. So they have a few other elements. Of course, the Gulf of Mexico. We have Lake Conroe. But, you know, <laughs> in the same token, I I think that their, their size is just bigger, so it makes it yeah. kind of like a bigger buffet. And buffet is bigger is better. You know, I don't oh, know. Have it, you it seen is, the spread at the Yacht Club? I though? have. It is huge. It, it is, is incredible. It is, it is more than enough. And it is mm-hmm. quality food, quality oh, stuff. So I, I'm not crazy about the empanadas, you know. And you were <laughs> hey talking now. about. We had some late events as well, lady and uh, Ollie, Ollie from yes, Blended Bistro the, good. the other day. Good she food. brought us empanadas as well, and I wasn't crazy about those either. So, I love them so I, much. and I, those are authentic I as food, all yes. get out. Yeah, right. Those are 100 percent handmade, authentic, well done, and we still threw. I, I wasn't I crazy. I just not a big crazy. It's just so much. Pay- I don't know. It just, but <laughs> I, what I do like is the carved boards. I like the desserts. I like the salads. I like the shrimp. I like all the yes. other seafoods and things that come on both those. And Walden offers all that. But what I wanted to bring up was Montgomery, uh, in, in Montgomery at uh, Walden, they're doing the uh, Fall Fest. Yes. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, on, I'm on a leash with this thing because we're way ahead of schedule. <laughs> but the headliner is still unannounced. It's a secret. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. On the Charlie Diggs calendar, I'm seeing October 7th. Possibly the 8th is rumored. So we're right drifting between these two days, but it will be at that same location. Okay. And I'm also told the War Hippies will be there. Oh. And there is a headliner. Oh, my God. Which is the part that's just blowing me away. Wait, I, I'm thinking, what? wait, War Hippies and? You know, oh, sure. there's an and. So and, and and the and is my big question mark still. So we're still holding that one back because right, we don't we'll have there, the we'll and. And I've been asked, you know, keep it on a leash. <laughs> it's not a hundred percent. We're on the drawing board, and it's this is October, so we're we're still plenty of ways away. But we did have a uh, Shannon Reed here with the Montgomery Chamber yes, of Commerce right before you fabulous. arrived, and she was sharing with us the Montgomery Music Festival. Which is September sixteenth, uh, yes. Independent Mexican Independence yes. Day. <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> unrelated, but, <laughs> but some headliners out there as well, just east or north of Montgomery. Go mm-hmm. down to Montgomery Four Corners, take yes, a right, yes. and past Cozy Grape. Keep going, and and Jim's Hardware, and then boom, you get to the parks, yes, yes. the ballparks down there. They're having a huge event, and it is uh, a big deal. For the Montgomery, the city of Montgomery. It is, and it I is. know the chamber's leading the charge. It's their event. Mm-hmm. But it's a big deal for the city of Montgomery. When was the date? Of- uh, that is September 16th. Awesome. Yeah, and those those two events, I think, are a lot to look for with a lot of musical talent that either you're going to be involved in, a part of, or in attendance, I'm sure, and hovering around these things. And I, I know I will be in, in whatever capacity they allow me. I'm going to be all up in both those. Um, and, and I definitely want to come see you out there if you... At Breakwater Grill on Sunday. Tonight. Tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Kind of oh, Lake House. Yeah. This evening. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tonight's and then Lake Sunday. House. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow Three back is to back. tomorrow. And Sunday is Cypress. And tomorrow is the uh, Breakwater Grill out in yes. Walden. And wow. give us a little something, something about what you're going to be putting go. down. Are we doing some more music? Yes. Yeah. 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 Let me. I, the singing roof for you guys. I haven't had a break. I, I definitely want to make sure that I'm going to do a little drop tuning on this one. And it's just give me like. Five seconds oh. to just drop this. Oh, what is drop to anyway? I love when drop they use honey. musical Crazy jargon. Fingers. 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 See, I'm throwing Fingers. that musical Fingers. jargon down here. <laughs> 
It's real time music right. stuff. Sounds Wait. Yes. good to me. Okay, okay there you go. Okay. That was quick. <laughs> wow. So this uh, <laughs> this song oh, wow. <laughs> is probably the one I'm most excited about out of all of the ones recorded, including okay. Vicariously. Um, okay. It's not even going to be the next single, though. Yeah. It's uh, We've got one more that we're thinking we're going to drop before this one. But uh, this one is just such a fun song um, with a great beat. And, and it's, but it, it's, it seems a little dark, but it's not. It's just, it's just fun. Uh, this one's called Bull. Bull. All yeah, right. right. El Toro. Oh, lately I going out my mind. I'm paranoid, don't sleep at night, and I'm petrified by fear that I am losing my woman to another. Tears me up inside. She never smiles. She seems to hate this home we built, the love we made. She goes out, comes home way too late. But when I ask her where you been? I get the run around in my mind fills with doubt But instead of calling her out I take that bull by the horns Let it drag me on down Through the mud and the muck of heartache and despair Cause I'd rather live a lie than lose the love of my life I just couldn't saddle up without her there so I pull back on my pride, settle in for a ride. That's when I was gonna go a little bit. And that one gets really intense and a lot of fun. But that one's called Bull. Just I a love little, drama little in the music. That. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, I, yeah, man. I felt passionate. like you brought us up, then you brought us down with that. <laughs> right there at the end. I like that. Oh, I can't wait to drop that one, y'all. I mean. My my drummer he when he um, first got a, a familiar with that song he said you're gonna get some phone calls after you release that one and I'm just oh, excited about cool. it you know I, I want to go hear the rest so of Vicariously great. we're gonna do that and hit yeah. and, and I want to hear some Bull and we can catch that on Spotify you said yeah the Vicariously is released the other Bull's five, not released yet the other five that are Ooh, coming out are uh, that was a pre-release yes. share there okay fantastic wow we okay got a flavor but of when, it. when you're ready. We can find it the same place oh, yeah. where we pick up vicariously. You bet. So if if, if y'all don't mind out there, go ahead and uh, follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, or if you like YouTube or whatever you do. But the uh, Aaron Cantor, it's a K A N T O R. Aaron is A A R O N, and uh, that way you'll get a you know like Spotify is one of the best right. ways. Follow me as an artist on Spotify. You can find vicariously there. Follow me as an artist, and then you'll be notified when I drop another single, and there then go. there on out. Yes. Aaron, wow. it's real hard for us to keep our ear to the street all the time. We just ask that if something comes up you want to share with us, please reach out to me. I mean, I mean really, on a personal note. I mean, I know we're on the oh, radio and thank all, you, but right, right. seriously, it would help if I knew. Uh, and if you could tell me before everybody else knows, that would be even <laughs> better. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you love that. Love that. He wants I to hope be our a privilege audience loves it. Yeah, well, yes. what, we'd like to provide them with something, you know, and, and, and make sure we give them, you know, instead of robbing these shows of their goods before they start in September and October, right. you know, we're picking them apart. Why aren't they ready yet? I you know, know, it's like, I well, know. it's not until next year, <laughs> Mr. Nino. And they're like, well, yeah, hurry up. You know, it's like, you know, so if, if, if there was a, like, we get releases from some artist says they share him with us we'd love to share that especially with bulls since they've heard it we've teased him here yeah i'd like to They're deliver have to wait it on so, i want to deliver it some later date before that, but. <laughs> oh, okay yeah. well that's aaron, great aaron if, if i need a new roof who should i call what's the number again oh. yeah uh, the office is 855-988-7663 that's uh 988 roof 855 and then uh my cell phone if you don't mind if i share that not at all all right it's 832-271-4747 that's awesome. Yes. That's great. Aaron, thank you for coming. I really My appreciate pleasure. that. Thanks for I having pl- me. Thank you for playing some music for us, and uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. I, I won't make tonight, but I okay. certainly will be there tomorrow to come see you over at the <laughs> I can't Water wait. Grill. Beer yeah, on me, I'll, buddy. I'll, I'll stop in. Aww, Absolutely. We'll see you then. Awesome. We'll be right back, folks, with more from the Texas Ticket. So won't you kick your feet up if you have a minute?
Audience of One, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. right here on Conroe's 106.1 and 104.5. Listen to the brain droppings of local hosts, me, Andrew Belschner, along with the jewel of Montgomery County Radio, Dick Schisler. Topical musings, news stories, oddities, or just weird conversations that we normally have with ourselves, all mixed together with the occasional guest. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. Lone Star Radio on my mind. Welcome back to the Texas Ticket. This is Armando and Gina McGully. Ron Briggs for the Punch, your Texas Ticket segment of the show. That's right. Here we go. Who's first? We got stuff? Yes. I always have stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Well, Gina, the, you know, I, I think there's a, one first thing we need to do. Yes. Is start with geography. I, I think a lot of folks are missing out where's what. We say things like everybody should know. But, From, okay, so <laughs> where's Dobbin? I know where Dobbin is. Where? I was there. Like, I literally passed by Dobbin to go see a, a new subdivision because I'm in real you estate. You passed by Dobbin to see a new I subdivision? I did, today. Well, I swear to you. It was 15 was minutes from Montgomery. It's Magnolia Springs. Ooh. And I went to go talk to El Señor Sales Rep, Mr. Ricky Macias with First American Homes. I just... Like to throw out there. out there yeah. in beautiful Magnolia Springs. Beautiful. You called it Dobbin South. Another ten minutes, and there you go. And Dobbin is That's on so one hundred five. Just said that Dobbin's on one hundred five West, just yes. about fifteen miles from the city of Conroe. That's correct. Just going west, and beautiful. and and so just to put geography to it, that's yes. where that is. Now, do you know where Bushels and Blooms is? Yes. Where is that? You cannot stop talking about. That's I, I'm just shocked about this sucker because, you know, I don't think it was called that before. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, go for it. It's right next to Vernon's Country Cafe yes. on 105 Yes, West. it is. Yeah. I know exactly where that was. I didn't know where that was. Okay. And, uh, next question. Uh, uh, just a, a brief Trivia. pop quiz. Breakwater Grill. Where is it? Well, you just said Walden. That's like I didn't in say your neck of the woods. Walden. Copy. Where is Ransom's? Uh, 105, right before you get to the historical district of Montgomery, our office, Bam. one property group. I saw Ransom's a la derecha. You're it's on the right. I've been here for 12 years. I, I know, know the I, area. I, I know. I... Oh, really? Yes, I do. Okay, come on. Another one? Do you really want to go? Where's Ayers Island? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> what? All right. No, okay. Yeah, no, no, you just All totally right. made that what? up. Okay, you made that up. All right. Go for it. Ayers Island's in the center of the lake. Lake Conroe. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. And speaking of Lake Conroe, I have an official first announcement for the Texas ticket. Wow, let's see. Uh, a first event announcement. October 14th and 15th, myself, along with this, a, a committee of others, uh, oh. be local, Jada England. Miss uh, Jada, yes. The, the folks at Hunger Crush, the folks at the Waterway Center, the... Yes. Uh, the uh, Fajita Jacks, uh, Bar Lago, the new place down there, and the I think wa- a whole Kashi, water point Montes, center. There's lots of places. So out many there. things in there. The 50th birthday party for Lake Conroe will be held there, October 14th and 15th. Wow! Headliners will be announced, but expect to have <laughs> myself and our crew put this show together October 14th and 15th, and with. Be Save local and October fourteenth and fifteenth. Jada and Be local will be leading the charge there and showing us, um, uh, putting all the details together, making this one of the most memorable birth- memorable birthdays the lake has ever had. And and That's you so know awesome. I, we're we're excited about getting our Marcom together to share with the rest of the state of Texas so they can all yes. look down and look over and up and wherever. And see Lake Conroe's 50th birthday party. And, and I don't care who you are. Yay. What is silver, right? Silver is, is the 50th? That's correct. Is it 75 is gold. That's correct. 50 75 is silver. Gold? Yes. Yeah. So um, we got diamond at 100, right? Or something like that. Isn't diamond Ooh, the 100th anniversary? I, maybe. Yeah. 
pa- paper is the one, right? For first anniversary is a paper gift. Like That's offer, correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, and 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 there's a structure to all of that. You know, the uh, Emily Post book of etiquette can walk you through all of oh. those things. Okay. But in the meantime, the silver anniversary. On 10, 14, 14. 15. October 14th October and 15th. October 14, 15. Right there at the Water Point Center, Shoreline Properties. That whole area will be taken oh, over wow. by Go Lake Condo and Be Local Magazine. The entire Magazine. Like, parking lot? The entire thing. It's, oh. it's going to all be one big, huge event. All the businesses will be participating. I can't wait. In some way, shape, or form, or they'll just be victims to the event happening in their center. <laughs> but either way, I, I, I think it's, it's something we all want to celebrate. Hopefully, it's not too evasive for every business there. and They, they all get a chance to enjoy. Oh, there'll be things good. for kids, adults, right. and so on. And we're still crafting some of those things out and trying to make that a memorable it's birthday. It's a big deal. It is. It is. Yes. And you can't repeat those things. You know, mm-hmm. uh, well, you get your magic moment. And that's right. that's our big reveal. That's our big show for today. Okay. We haven't announced our headliners yet. We're still working with that. If, if, you're, if you're a local band and you'd like to have these opportunities and stuff like that, please send your information to facebook.com slash TXTicket. Wow. We're looking for uh, bands, venues, for, for all kinds of venues. Um, but Vendors? We, we are looking for vendors and sponsors for the uh, okay. 50th birthday party coming up. Oh. And this will be our only public announcement in regards to um, I'm excited vendors yeah, and very uh, special sponsors moment. and musicians. After okay. this, we'll bring it up again in regards to the entertainment value for the, the guests that will attend. Right. But for the people putting the show together, this should give you ample time to prepare, consider a business option of becoming a sponsor or a vendor for the event, or maybe the entertainment for the event. Good. Um, and we're open-minded. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some, some feedback on that. Um, yes. We have some planning time ahead, and we have some things there. Yeah. We, and, and I want to rehash uh, Shannon's uh, September 16th event. That's correct. And, El 16 de at, septiembre, señor. And that's Mexican Independence Day, and that'll be at the ballpark uh, of the uh, across the street. She mentioned concert in the Moco Music in the Park dot com. Yes, you can find all the details there, and the tickets are twenty dollars, uh, thirteen and up. They will be uh, ten dollars for twelve and under. Correct. Okay, so um, all that out there, I'm going to let me read this over while you share a few. I know you have a very special event that that I wanted to bring up as well. I'm yes, excited. I'm going. We just to- had it. Yesterday, right? Wasn't yes, that yesterday? that's correct. Yesterday, um, I I wanted I, I had such a good time, and I I really want to talk Great. about things from the past a lot, but it it's mm-hmm. just seems like uh, um, you know they can find those in the photos. But we have another one coming up for the biz and booze, and tell us a little bit about what happened yesterday and what we expect going forward for the next biz and booze event. All right, here we go. So biz and booze third round of just fun networking and getting together with professionals, businesses here in Montgomery County. One of the things that we try to focus at our office, One Property Group, is that us as real estate professionals, you know, with our broker, Monica Brasovsky, is that what is it that we try to do is to tie in professionals. We love to work with one another, and it's all about referring each other and protecting each other and making sure that we all know where we are in not only in life but within our businesses being able to support us so we were you know at kirby's ice house so this is our third round of a networking event at biz and booze and i'd like to send not only a thank you to all of our sponsors but i love the fact that they continue to support us so thank you so not only monica brasovsky our broker one property group but of course we have alamo title rep She's known as the connector, Miss Karen Hoffman. Karen the connector. I love Karen. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful personality She's of a be woman. On the show soon. Yes, she will. And we also have renovation sales with Mr. Brian Stewart. Uh, Goosehead Insurance. We have Chris Diamond. Great guy. Diamond. Awesome. I love Mr. Chris. And of course, Victor Brasovsky. He has he has a very awesome, you know, place in my heart because he's a very genuine man. And of course, Monica's husband. But he, he, Houston Window Covering. So he has his own does, business yeah. as well. Yeah. And then we have Marriott Galen, which she is our, you know, house. We call it our the Union Home Mortgage, our house, you know, mortgage company. And Mr. Jeremy Cow, he's, you know, the spokesperson for Magnolia Home Inspection Services, but he has a good team 
that really supports them. So thank you to all of our sponsors that were out here at Kirby's Ice House last night. We had a great turnout, and please support us because so our fourth one's around the corner next month in June. Any, any thoughts on the June event? What's going? Where that's going? That's be a secret. So like I'll that? let you know, you know next we, we've, week. We've heard some things. So yes, you know, I, yes. I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. We try to rotate it because we started with Conroe, then Montgomery, then the Woodlands, and we're pushing Magnolia and back to Conroe and whatnot, doing a rotation, showing our love to our Montgomery County. Mm. All right. Well, you know, and I, I like to bring in, you know, everybody says when we get too narrow into our own little Montgomery Conroe area and clickish, maybe a little Willis, <laughs> throwing something to Waverly and that's is all we ever do. You know, <laughs> it's not true. It's not. It's not. We're I just, arts I and culture. It. Yes. Yes. You know, are. I mean, Cynthia Mitchell Woodlands Pavilion has a great array of musical oh artists that are the top Always. of the nation. Yes. And some in the world. Yes. But Janet Jackson. I mean, how many Jacksons do you think you're oh going to see gosh. live on stage? June 10, June 3rd, Janet Jackson, Cynthia Mitchell Woodlands wow. together. Together again, Janet June Jackson. June 3rd, the night of? June 3rd. The night of? The night of? It's boxing, it, it, like in Galveston. <laughs> June yes. 10th, Co. Wetzel, and that's also at the Cynthia Mitchell Woodlands Pavilion. Okay. He plays a strong young country. He's got a lot of good top hits that are that are just out there. If you haven't heard some Co. Wetzel, it's a great uh, YouTube search and okay. uh, play some of his music, uh, you'd be surprised. Uh, and and don't, I mean, I, I don't think the guy matches his sound and look. It's kind of like <laughs> Sundance Head. I, I get a lot out right. of it. I, I can close my eyes mm -hmm. and then open them going, what the? You know, uh, <laughs> just shocked, you know, after listening to the music for yeah, a while. Right. You know, a lot of folks' voices don't match um, the person. And it, it's, yeah, it's awkward. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But uh, it's okay. Sting. Uh, October 15th. It's a Sting? Mitchell Will oh, Sting. He lead singer for the police. way out there, October. Like, get your tickets today. I'm sure it's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. That'll sell out. Sting in the Woodlands? Sting will be in the Woodlands October 15th. Get your tickets well in advance. That's pretty cool. One other one that's a little closer and, 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 and you know, changed a bit through the years. <laughs> uh, and, and only because okay. time has passed. And, and we're talking about Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top. Oh, my uh, They'll gosh. both uh, be the, the, the Sharp Dress Simple Man Tour. Wow, when is that? Uh, and that that is July thirtieth at the Cynthia Mitchell Woodlands Pavilion. Okay. And and you know if, if we're gonna bring up October, let's not forget Conroe Country Catfish Festival. Um, oh my gosh! And, and so that's Never. happening uh, October thirtieth. So just okay. so it's on the calendar. And and the other thing is, so uh, event planners can uh, hear about some of the events that we're right. foreshadowing here to let you know that maybe not make them all on the same weekend. You know, I mean, it would <laughs> help everyone. I, I like to party every weekend. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you did Friday, Saturday, weekend, Sunday, yes. there's next weekend, I'll go to both of them. You right. know what I mean? It's like, yes. I, 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 good point, you know, good point. But there's so much to do, Armando. That's why, you know, it's nice to be a part of a community that does a lot for the people, the residents, Show their love here in all the businesses. I work six so, days a week, you know, on I, the I, seventh I'm one. I'm really or, proud know. to be a part of this county. It's nice to have some enriching entertainment where I don't yes. have to go, you know, outside Montgomery County to do anything no, if this, I don't this want is to. Wonderful. If I don't want to. I mean, I mean, there are some things that, that maybe I would follow to Dave Matthews after he leaves. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll follow Dave. And he came a couple weeks I back guess. last week. Yeah. <laughs> what if I want to see Dave Matthews again, you know, and again and yeah. again, like the same year? Well, you can't watch him at the same place. He's not going to do that. You know, so you won't get that opportunity to catch him that way. Right. Um, but, but the best part is that they come to us. That's right. And, and you know, that's what's awesome. Well, and, and one of the when you when you start rock and roll and you have country right. and you have these big music, mm -hmm. jazz, these huge music genres, there are smaller ones. Right. There's mm -hmm. these uh, folk. Right. There's, you know, uh, jazz contemporary. There's modern light. You know, there's yes. there's all these other little <laughs> shades of music that yes, don't get yes. that mainstream, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. are still ridiculously talented and i found a lot of the really young people like to venture in these genres yes you're right you're and, right and they find a lot of music there um the one place i would suggest for those is september 30th okay um the uh houston country folk and blues festival oh wow where it's in the woodlands in, oh uh, in the pavilion again uh no this is at the waterway oh and, okay, okay uh it is a water woodlands waterway event uh there'll be a 120 
artists and crafters. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fun! So okay, just nine thirty. Uh, after remember uh, September thirtieth, ten a.m. to nine p.m. Grammy All Award day. winners, Billboard number ones are included. Uh, their Billboard number one recording artist will be on scene for all these yeah. different genres of music in September 30th. That's at the Woodlands Waterway. Uh, the attendance is expected to be at 25,000 plus. Oh. So <laughs> just to put this one into perspective for you, HoustonFolkFestival.com. You can check it out there, folks. Uh, definitely one to watch. Yes. It is. It will be our uh, a September uh, focused event. Okay. Um, and we'll we'll mention it going for at least once or twice a month, going from here to there to keep it in, on on the front burner for you. If you're yes. a vendor, it is one to be at. Right, get oh your spot. Yeah, I, really, September I don't have a dog 30th. in the fight. I'm not selling booths there. <laughs> this is a nonprofit <laughs> show. I'm just saying, you want to sell out. That's yes. one to go to. And you want to tap your feet the whole time you're working. Right. That's one to go right. to. Um, it, it, That's it, great. Super Armando? fun stuff. I'm, wow, I'm, you're like really thinking ahead, like. The summer, the fall. Well, I wanted to prepare the people that, that help to, to finance these things to, to get an opportunity True. to get involved. And yes. we know our sponsors are the ones that help bring this entertainment to you. And after interviewing these sponsors, would I ask them, why do you do it? <laughs> why in the world would you do this? Well, we want to give back to the community that gives so much to us. And we figured this is yes. the best way to reach as many okay. as possible with one gesture and Good. one bill to help everyone a little bit enjoy everyday life and, and the day-to-day -day grind and, and every weekend that they get to have the opportunity to be a blessed to be a part of. Absolutely. So, well, you know, that's good. out there. Thank uh, you. Uh, also, Freedom Fest. You're welcome. Also, Freedom Fest in Montgomery, July 1st, 2023. We, Shannon brought that up. We brought that yes. up with her. And yes. I want to make sure we, we remind everyone that's July 1st. It's a parade down there. She told, talked about the hometown fuel, the, yes. you know, the no big inflatables and whatnot. It's going to be fun. It's going to be hometown. It's going to be the things you'd expect downtown Montgomery. It's going to be so nice. Come down and join that. And yes. and, and I, I hope Open Cheese out there, one property yes, group we is, will. is enjoying that. Uh, 6-17-23, uh, that's June 17th. Yes. Um, downtown, <laughs> downtown Montgomery. I love numbers. 6-17-23. Well, we're expecting the Lone Star Dance. And uh, oh. the Dance the Streets. And I, and, and I graduated with a young lady, which is now young woman our name stephanie fox and she uh i think class 90 at okay. montgomery high school and and i think i'm giving ages i shouldn't be doing that but yeah um, that's bad but uh, sorry ahead. steph uh <laughs> yeah but <clears throat> anyway she's she's been working to help out with the montgomery uh dance uh, the lone star dance on the square and hopefully uh good. do good things work I'm with her if, if she's that. asking Definitely. for your hand there and for your help there please okay. help her along get 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 that moving people are enjoying that we oh. i'm enjoying it i i really thought that was more hometown feel than anything i've seen in a long time you it know it is of course it's it is. unique yeah. it's not happening everywhere mm. Yeah. Go find that. And tell me how that worked out. You know, but mm -hmm. it's happening downtown Montgomery and, it, and it, it's happening once a month. And I, and I really like that. I really All hope right. that, that Stephanie Good. takes that to where it needs to be. Uh, and and tinyurl.com slash Lone Star Street Dance. Okay. Um, uh, also, what else you got? Well, uh, tomorrow night, uh, if you're not going to go see Aaron Cantor. No, I'm going to go see Mr. Well, Aaron. then before that, the, the singing roofer. Yep. It, before that is a cornhole tournament that I want to mention, and it is it is it, it is Saturday. What? Let me see. Saturday, I got a time here. I mean, everyone there <laughs> score Julio dot app or in person. You can register your team for the tournament. Uh, it's at the shoot ha shout house. The Shout House the all shout over by house? the Montgomery County Airport. Oh Montgomery my gosh. County Fairgrounds. It's over there on that side of town. You can go to the Shout right. House this Saturday. Uh, they're going to have a ton of raffles, silent oh, auction cool. items. Uh, the Cornhole Tournament will be participating. And um, this is a Barsh Auto sponsored event. Yes. Um, nice. And they will, uh, let's see, uh, open house 12 to 2. Tournament will start at 2. Uh, Michelle Raspberry Dean is going to be singing. Oh, wow. Michelle Dean's very good. That's going to be uh, awesome. I think we saw her at 219. She was at 219, the social house here in okay, Conroe. Okay. Did fabulous there. Mm -hmm. So looking forward to see her uh, and, and right there behind Bar's Performance Diesel there on on uh, that road shout house is on. I don't remember what it is. But <laughs> I, I don't. One of those, uh, I don't. Uh, but roads. I think most of the folks know where it is. If not, you can Google the shout house or just okay. hashtag the shout house on Facebook and everything ever written about the shout house will pop up. Okay. Right. 
Just like you can hashtag the that's Texas cool. that's ticket. That's exciting, yes. And everything yes. will come up about the Texas ticket. It's all ticket. about the Texas ticket. Right. So anyway, El boleto de Texas. We need to just change it. Say it again. El boleto de Texas. Does that mean Texas ticket? In yes. <laughs> I, I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. What else you got? You got anything else on that list? I have a lot. Obviously, we're not talking October. I'm talking recent. Tell me what you got Because we have, you know, Memorial Day weekend is around the corner. And I wanted to talk about this weekend, obviously, Saturday, the food truck rally. It's really cool because B-52 Brewing is having, it's called the Six Food Truck Rally. Mm -hmm. So obviously tomorrow, they're going to have, you know, wood-fired pizza from barbecue, Asian food, hot dog sandwiches, and cold sweets. But B-52, Saturday from 12 to 8. So that's a really nice event that they're going to have. Obviously on Sunday, Hunger Crush Cafe. Uh, have you been there? They have Sunday Fun Day. Have Sunday I been to Hunger fun Crush? Day. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you need to go on a Sunday Fun Day. They have Sunday Fun Day of Endless Mimosas and Margaritas. So It's just all like day. water, but it has margarita in it. Excuse me? No, it's yummy. With salt, you can have tahine on the rim. So yummy. It's summer water, no. but it has margarita no, in it. No, it's margarita. So then we have the Flashback Funk Fest. Are you familiar with that? Also going on I, Saturday? I didn't even hear what you said. Oh, here we go. Flashback <laughs> Fun Fest. Also at the pavilion, Cynthia Mitchell Woods Pavilion, 6 p.m. in the Woodlands. So basically, it's a lot of fun with this Funk Fest. They're going to have bands such as, you know, you have More Stay, The Time. It's called The Time Atlantic Star, Ohio Players, Con Function, the Zap Band, and Rose Royce. Royce. Are you familiar Just, with them? No. no? It's from. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar anyway, with all those bands. So you have, again, Sunday, May 28th, you have Memorial Day celebration oh, at yo, Town yo. Creek Park in the Woodlands. So basically, it's a kickoff to your summer fun, but it's beautiful because they honor. Are we still talking about the Our, Funk Fest? No, we're talking about the Memorial Day celebration, sir. May 28th. That's my mother's birthday, by the way. Feliz cumpleaños, mami. So it's honoring the military service and those who served our country. So thank you. The Memorial Day celebration. For all of those who served our country. Yes, sir. The Memorial Day. This so has see? absolutely nothing to do with Funk Fest and, and more I transitioned, the time. sir. I, Funk Fest is the 27th oh, and yeah, Memorial sorry. Day is the 28th. So come on out to the town Greek Park in the Woodlands. Greek Park? Yes, that's what it's called. Town wow. Greek Park. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, anything but that. So, I, and, 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 and Funk Fest is at the pavilion, right? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Saturday. And yeah, we brought that up on a few other episodes, and I, I'm, a, I'm a real Morris Day in the Time fan. What are you doing for Memorial Day weekend? Aren't you, that's like next weekend. Come on. You need to plan it. What are I'm, they? I, I'm probably going to go hang out with Morris. I, and, I and, think and, it's, it's, it's going to be so yeah. much fun. Way Morris Day out. in the Time. Yeah. And, All and, right. Well, and cool. That's I, what I, I got. What I else think. You got? Anything else? Well, July fifteenth, I'm going down to Crystal Beach to see the uh, the the big Diesel Beach Bash. Okay, if you're in Crystal Beach, you have to see, go see my friend's restaurant. She's owned it with her family for I don't know thirty years. It's called La Estación on Crystal La Beach. La Estación. Estation. Uh, the station. The station. But it's yeah. La Estación, Mexican yummy food. At Fantastic. Well, well, I, and I think that's where Brandon Crichton went. One day he he went out there to Crystal Beach and he did a little he did a little uh, on That's the on awesome. there, there's, not there's not much out there's not much out there you know mm -hmm. and, and so but before you get out to um, that back way uh, that goes on the other side of Crystal Beach if you just keep going it'll oh take gosh. you out to the highway I think that's ten right I. Wait, yes. It's 10, right? It takes you all the way to Louisiana. Yes, that's correct. Cuts you into Beach. that, right? So yes. if you, you take the ferry from Peg Galveston East. Island. Yes, sir. And you that keep going, correct. you'll 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 end up all the way out there. Yes. Yeah, and 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 so there there are a few places and I have seen him go out there and visit with folks that's and do really some cool. different things and and you know, and I, I think Estacion was also there during the the flooding from yes. the storm and whatnot yes. and they did that huge thing where they were feeding everybody out there. It was it was a big deal. But anyway, 7:15 Houston Diesel Beach Bash. Crystal Beach, and that is a Charlie Diggs event. It's also a uh, a Barsh Auto sponsored event. Um, oh, wow. We also have on uh, September 30th the Texas 90s Fest here in Conroe. That's coming up. That's going to be cool. I, like Conroe, well, where? I've only got a headline so far. Right. <laughs> so I, I, I Conroe just. Conroe somewhere in September. Just putting that out there for okay. everyone to know gotcha. there is a 90s 
Conroe music event. That coming is really cool. I'm excited. 30th. I love the idea. I, I, yeah, I can't wait to see what they for put sure. in there. I mean, he probably won't have anything like Morris Day at the time. Yeah. No. You know, or maybe he will. No, I don't I, I don't know. No telling. Who knows? Um, but uh, let's see <laughs> what else we got. There's the Nope. The Grimes County oh. True Blood Foundation. Did I mention that? No, no. Yeah, uh, the True Blue Foundation is supporting and backing the blue, of course, and supporting the officers in, in the Grimes County area. And, okay, um, good. And, and That's awesome. We wanted to make sure we mentioned uh, eight, nine, August 9th. Okay. Uh, you can go check out the uh, Grimes County True Blood Foundation banquet. And okay. last year, my friend Buster bought a bunch of guns at this event, rifles and auctions. Good old Buster. Yeah. So what I'm hoping is that Buster knows I prefer Beretta and oh my gosh. I love a, uh, <laughs> a you know, a, a switch action rifle, you know, just in case he's like open minded about what am I going to, who yeah, would yeah. I give this to, you know, yeah, and I mean, what, what should I auction this, for? you know, where should I participate, you know, as he's passing all the police guns that are down there, Beretta right. is one of their favorites. Mm-hmm. So he can always add that to well, his list of, of items of, of, you know, preference. Awesome. Well, Armando, this was fun. I, I'm always very, very just excited about not only seeing all the fun events that we have. There's so much going on here in Montgomery County. Like it's, it's too much. Sometimes it's just such a long list, but it's exciting to know that our community supports us and there's always entertainment for us. Right. And there's only one 50th birthday party. One. One. And And when's that date again? October 14th and 15th at the Waterway Center on so 105 Friday, West. That's right. And you'll find gotcha. that over by Monty's. Uh, you can find that Fajita Jack's, that whole center there, October wow. 14th and 15th. Okay, well, Please ch- check out either Go Lake Conroe or Be Local for that information. Yes. And you can find some more there. And I'm sure the Waterway Center will be tearing that as soon as they're all ready to share that. Yes, uh, again, it, that's October. So a lot okay, of the events. Have time. And folks, we're going to wrap up. But a lot of the events we brought up aren't until October 17th. You know, uh, a lot happens in, in a quarter. Right. So yes. I would expect changes in band, venue, time, place. The, all these things are, are Always. subject to change. Mm-hmm. Ticket pricing, things like that. When we talk about events that are, you know, three, four months out. So let, let's give the, the uh, promoters their opportunity to put these yes. together. Mm-hmm. Uh, the sponsors Good. time to gather. The uh, supporters and vendors time to get themselves together and prepare. The mu- musicians to make sure yes. this is the right event that they want to present themselves at as well. But these I things mean. are in the works and a little foreshadowing, a little, a little, a, 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 you know, planning, you know, <laughs> to be ready for these things. Yes, if, this if, is exciting. I don't want to travel in October because I know there's, you know, in no. September, beginning of October, I could hit a couple of the best musicians that Texas has to offer are going to be right here. Exactly. Right. And, and, so many other things. So plan accordingly. Yeah. Folks, if you have any questions right. about some of the things we've shown, you can follow it all at golakeconroe.com or you can go see it at facebook.com slash TX ticket. That's right. And you can see everything we talked about, some of the links. And throughout mm-hmm. the week, we'll be sharing those going forward until our next episode comes on. If you'd like to sponsor the Texas ticket, please check out facebook.com slash TX ticket. You can reach out to us or email our call is there at 409 692 5753. Guys, we'll see you oh, next week, Friday, 1 o'clock, right here. Texas tickets.